My friends, how are you doing? This is my studio in Venice, California. We're three blocks from the beach. This is where all the magic happens. I do a lot of drum tracks for people here. When I filmed my DVD, which was 10 years ago now, a day in the recording studio, it was all done here. It's just back then, we cleared everything out, so it was empty. But this is what the real working studio looks like. One of my kits that I record with, which is sort of this hybrid of this of Gretsch New Classic kids, the, kits, this is actually, uh, was one of the prototypes originally. They never even made this particular color. And then the bass drum and the 18-inch floor tom is from the first Pink Tour. And I just love the way these drums record. And then I've got my bronze, phosphorus bronze snare drum. And of course, all my illustrious Sabian cymbals. And this is like a custom shop that I found in the factory when I went up there and I just, you know, nothing sounds like it. Yeah, it was really special. And these are so old, these are so old that the Sabians worn off. <laughs> these are some of the originals. Yeah, I do a lot of drum tracks for people here. What they do is they'll, they'll send me tracks like MP3s, usually with their sort of drum programming. And my goal, as I talked about in my DVD many years ago, is to be able to download the song, listen to it, chart it, play it, give them two tracks of music, uh, two, tr uh, two separate drum tracks, alternative fills, alternative um, verses and choruses, and upload it in less than an hour. I do actually quite a bit of corporate speaking um, with a feature being on top performance, and I play drums. I literally just got back from a week where I did four speaking dates in three days. As I find that music is an amazing metaphor and I have so much experience, and I, when I started doing drum clinics, and I realized after a while, people were resonating more with the storytelling and the success coaching part than simply the chops. It was Dom Familaro. Dom and I were doing a clinic tour together after I'd done Simple Minds in 1996 through Germany. And Dom was talking about how this guy had come up to him after a, after a drum clinic and said, I love what you did. My, I'm here with my son, but will you come and talk to my corporation? You know, and he offered Don some crazy amount of money, which was way more than we were making during drum clinics. And I thought, Wow, in the back of my head, I always thought I could do this. I needed to make the the terminology and the content have relevance that applies back to the corporate audience. But so much of what we do does. And so I use music as the metaphor with top performance. The subject of the next book has to do with attitude. It's A times B equals C. Attitude times behavior equals consequence. And check this out, because we all know this intuitively. We know we always can't control what happens to us, but we always have the power to choose and change and shift our attitudes about what happens to us. And this is incredibly powerful because our attitude is where we're looking from. It's our point of view. And why it's so powerful is your attitude is what drives your behavior. And one attitude can drive many behaviors and your behavior is what determines the consequences of your life. And think about the power of this, not only for business, but for personally. So if you shift your attitude, you're gonna drive more desirable behavior and you can produce a different outcome. I talk about challenges that Pink has had and Billy Idol and, 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 and Cher and, uh, I just, I use these artists as heroes and models for top performance and I tell my own experiences. I also, you know, I'm a cancer survivor. I talk a little bit about that. I talk about overcoming my own adversities and how shifting my attitude has made a huge difference because it's something that I do every single day in my life and I'm convinced that that's why I'm still right in the middle of playing with the coolest artist on the planet after 30 years. And it really does begin with attitude. All, our, our, all of our decisions and our motivations and our actions start with an attitude and that's what drives the behavior which drives the outcome the consequences ah, well and then I've got my family life you know I wasn't even supposed to be able to father a child because of my cancer many years ago my daughter's a little she's she, she's a miracle my daughter's eight she's eight she's almost nine I call us the power trio I'm a dad first she matters more than anything more than anything and it's kind of like yeah I look at it like everything I do and everything I'm building 
is not just for me, but it's for her, not only for her success and to be able to provide for her, but as a model for her, because then she could see what's possible. And she had a drum set since she was two, doesn't give a damn about drums. She's not a drummer, doesn't care. Although she did say about a month ago, Daddy, I want a drum lesson. I'm like, really? But, you know, I'm not going to push that on her. Maybe she'll play bass. That'd be great. Then we'd have a rhythm section. Yeah! It's crazy what she's grown up with. I mean, she's grown up around the Pink Tour. Um, she's a purple belt in martial arts. She's got six belts in martial arts. And she's eight. She's an actor. She's got an agent. She's got a manager. And she's an incredible writer. So we're just like, oh my God, we... We're so blessed because we know that we only have a certain amount to do with it because there's nature and there's nurture. She was born with a lot of amazing internal stuff and then we just promote her and support her when we see what her interests are. We're in an international school so my daughter actually can travel and as long as she makes up her work, it uh, she can miss school. So my daughter's been on over two, like 230 flights, 235 flights, and she's not even nine years old yet. Um, but that's because if they want to see daddy, they got to travel a lot. They get to travel a lot. And uh, also, you know, she's friends with Willow, which is Pink's daughter, and, you know, they hang out. So she comes. It's a very kid-friendly tour. So we love that about it. So they encourage my family to actually be there. So that makes me very, very happy.